Like, what is it? Snow White. I'm like, really? <laughs> when Snow White is woken up after the after the big sleep, you know what I mean? It's there's um, there is a similarity between that eye opening vampire yeah, totally. moment. And... So I got to see the movie last night. It's sort of spectacular to watch. Was there anything oh. about it that surprised you when you got to see it for the first time? Um I have to say like it's a very satisfying and completely rare and kind of like mind-blowing experience to watch something be put together in the exact way that you wanted it to. And um, I think Rupert is so awesome. I think he really put a stamp on it. It doesn't feel like, you know, it's a huge studio movie. It's very epic in scale. All of that still applies, whatever. But it, it feels like his. It, like it really actually does have, it has, it has kind of a unique originality to it. And I was kind of, um, not that I wasn't expecting that, but you just don't always get that with big movies, you know? I was gonna say, you epic is the word you used, and that's what, you know, watching it, it is totally an epic. Did you mm. realize it was gonna be like that much when you first signed on to the project? Those were definitely the aspirations. I mean, this <laughs> thing, it had so much potential. We all saw it. Rupert got the job because he put together kind of like a five minute thing, a, a five minute short version of the movie kind of where you presented the dark aspects and the light aspects. And I just thought uh, the, the the fact that it was the same guy who did both was just, it's a strange combination of things because it's, what's cool about it is that, you know, it's, it is a dark version of Snow White, but it's also so kind of ep epically and exuberantly light and beautiful when it is. Mm -hmm. Like the Enchanted Forest is mind-blowing. And um, I, think, I think it's nice to have that contrast or else it doesn't, neither one of them would, would, would pop like they do without having a nice balance. You yeah. know. And of course it's a very badass version of Snow White. Were there people in your life who were surprised when you signed on to do any version of a fairy tale at all? <laughs> um, I'm not sure about other people, but I do have to say I was, uh, I was a little surprised when they called me up about Snow White. You know, you, I, I was doing Breaking Dawn at the time, and so I was really completely focused on that and not wanting to, I don't like choosing, I don't, I don't like getting into something before another thing is done. It's mm -hmm. just, it totally muddles you. And they were like, you have to read this. It's a really big deal and you're gonna miss an opportunity. I was like, what is it? Snow White. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. um, but then it became really clear as soon as I, uh, I mean, as soon as we got into it. Speaking of Breaking Dawn, in both these movies, you have scenes when you're sort of like laying there, almost dead, men are <laughs> doting over you. Did you think about comparing those two scenes at all when you were filming them? Um, I was kind of thinking about, th the, the only one moment that I was kind of worried about was, uh, was when Snow White is woken up after the, after the big sleep. You know what I mean? It's, there's, um, there is a similarity between that yeah. eye-opening vampire yeah, moment. Totally. And, but hopefully they're, <sighs> Very different. It's a lot of guys feel. kissing you when you're, that, when you're. Yeah, that too. Yeah. And and now that you're sort of going on this worldwide big tour, is it weird doing it without your Twilight co-stars? <laughs> um. Yes, actually, totally. It is weird. I, you know, you do little bits and pieces for smaller movies, and uh, and it's fun because it's like you know you get back to the, back to people that you really only spent a little bit of time with, and so it's like super exciting to see them again. And with Twilight, you feel like it's like. Literally, like the most, I see them constantly, <laughs> and so it is more. Uh, it's a, it is a different experience, totally. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. And can you tell us anything about uh, the movie you just signed on for, Cali? Mm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm really excited. It's. It's uh, very in your face, um, in 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 a, in a in a great way. I think it's like you know when it's. I think when it's violent, it's going to be extremely violent. And I think when it's funny, it should be like broadly, comedically funny. And uh, I think like the emotional part too should be, everything should just be right here, you know? And it takes place in the valley and I'm, I'm from there. And uh, it's been a long time since we had like a really good valley movie.